So I have just watched a vlog where I think is it Delilah Lipke, Lipke, Lipsky's life. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but she did a vlog where she got rid of 50% of her wardrobe. And I was like, I need to do that. So just recently I've been following or starting to follow some bloggers who do capsule wardrobes and are really intentional about their wardrobes and being minimal and clean and just having things that suit their body and that are easy to grab and match together. I just really feel like I need to do this. It's so hard being in the season where you're pregnant and then you're going through postpartum and then you're losing weight. Like I fluctuate so much. So getting a wardrobe together is really hard, but I have so many things in my wardrobe that I just do not gravitate towards. I don't wear, but for whatever reason, I'm clinging onto them. I don't even know why, but I've got to get rid of stuff. So this is actually my spare room and the wardrobe in here is where I've been storing my clothes because number one, it's bigger than the wardrobe in our room. So I've needed more space. And number two, I had a little space in our room for hanging my clothes and I actually broke that shelf. Blair has just repaired it. So I moved all my clothes into here for the meantime. So that just goes to show how many clothes I have and what I need to get rid of. I, and the fact that I need to get rid of them. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go through these clothes and just declutter. I don't know if you guys have heard, the, heard about the concept of stuffication, but there's a book on it. It's called Stuffication. And it's about having heaps of stuff can actually make you feel suffocated. And that's how I feel sometimes. And when it comes to, the, to my clothes, I just, I feel suffocated. Like, I don't know. I just, there's so much stuff, but it's so much stuff that I just don't love and I don't wear. I just go through the same things over and over again. So I'm going to declutter. Firstly, by taking everything out of this wardrobe, laying it in a pile on my bed, and I'm just going to start sorting into two piles, a keep pile and a giveaway pile and see how we go. Actually, what I might do is just take each item out of the wardrobe one at a time and put them in the piles. That's what we'll do. sure about it's kind of immodest like it's a wraparound dress and I just feel like it's too revealing so I usually have to wear something under it so it becomes hard to wear I don't know I could sew it and mend it but I just don't know if I'm gonna get around to doing that oh it's so hard it's so hard should I have a maybe pile I think I'm gonna start a maybe pile and that one's gonna go in it oh this is another dress like orange is not my color I literally only bought this last year but it's a really good pregnancy dress but the orange color like I'm a winter if you know your colors I'm a winter there's like summer autumn winter spring and I'm a winter so like dark colors or like bold colors uh, like yellows and oranges, no. This is like also a no for my color, for my coloring. And this one's a little bit immodest as well, so I'm gonna give that one away. Ah, uh, this is going in the maybe. Green, I love this dress, but this is another one that is not in my colorings. Like it makes me look washed out, this green. But. It's also a great pregnancy dress. It's going in the maybes, I think. This one might seem like a strange one to keep like a black white polka dot dress, but this one is so comfy. You don't have to iron it. It's so easy to wear. Blair's grandma actually gave it to me 
and it's so good like every season of life pregnancy breastfeeding summer church it's i love it so i'm gonna keep it even though it's not super trendy but i'm gonna keep it anyway oh this one's controversial <laughs> controversial daughters of india it's like such a popular dress but I don't know, it just makes me feel frumpy. Like, I don't feel great in this dress, but it is a good pregnancy dress. I do like the pattern and the style. It's going to go with the maybes. I'm just not sure about this one. This is another dress that I actually really like. But it's a little bit immodest. Like, it's low neck. It's a little bit short. I don't feel super comfortable in it. So I'm going to give that one away. Okay, so I've done all my hanging clothes. This pile here, like this pile is going. Like, I'm getting rid of it. So, I'm going to put it over here. Some of this stuff I think I might be able to sell. So, I'm going to put that aside. But this is going. Going, going. Gone. This stuff here I'm going to keep. So, I'm going to put back into the wardrobe. <sighs> it still feels like too much. And like some of the stuff is not super trendy, but I actually feel comfortable in it and I like the stuff. So I'm going to keep them anyway. And if I don't wear them much, I'll get rid of them again. So I've kept some stuff and this stuff on the ground is just stuff that needs washing that I will keep. And I have to go through my maybes. So I want to show you my maybes. So I have this black and white striped dress. It's really great and simple for summer when I'm not pregnant and I'm not breastfeeding. Like this was really good pre babies. I just haven't worn it for so long because it just doesn't work anymore but I don't know if I can part with this I don't know if I can part with this like I, I have to keep that I think this one I think I'm gonna sell yeah I think I'm gonna sell this so I'm gonna put it in a sell pile this green one so I think I'm gonna keep this black and white dress this green one is actually so nice. Like the fabric, the fit, the way it falls. I'm going to keep it even though it's not my color because I do wear it and I do really like that one. I'm going to get rid of this orange. Yep. I'm just going to be ruthless. I'm going to get rid of that one. And this wraparound dress, like it's just a pain to wear and I'm just not into wearing painful things. Like I need easy simple put on that works kind of outfits so that can go to oh I'm so exhausted that is tiring that is tiring and I haven't even done my drawers yet but I'm gonna leave that for another day we're just gonna leave it here for today so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna call it a day <laughs> I'm finally back at the wardrobe oh, this time this is in my room so this is a little space I have there's two of these one for me one for Blair and I have these drawers down here and this is my hanging space it really 
doesn't work to be honest because there's just no like with the drawer in here there's no long hanging space either side of the drawer there's just a little bit anyway I have to go through I've got these baskets up here and I've got like Christmas presents stored um oh I feel so overwhelmed looking at this but it's definitely time to tackle it so basically because I'm pregnant as well I didn't mention that when I first recorded the first section of this video because I don't know if I announced it by then anyway so I'm pregnant so I'm keeping that in mind there's a lot of stuff that I will not wear right now during my pregnancy and breastfeeding um, so I'll store that stuff away so I'll keep and store I'm gonna take yeah basically make a huge box of, well I've got this box here I'll make this box I'll put this box full of stuff that I'm giving away let's face it I'm gonna need a bigger box than this let's start with the bottom drawer long skirts do so well for me during pregnancy so I'm gonna keep this long skirt because of that this I love these jeans are not gonna fit me for a very long time because unlike some people when I'm pregnant I don't just put on belly weight, I put on weight on my hips, on my arm, like everywhere basically. Um, so things like pants, even if I like undo the top buttons and put on like one of these belly bands, it's just so, still so uncomfortable for me to wear. And these are actually tiny. But I plan to get in, back into them postpartum, hopefully. So, I'm going to keep them. Okay, so I've got a... This is my not fit during pregnancy postpartum pile. This pile here is the hopefully will fit during pregnancy and postpartum. <laughs> and this is my chuck. stuff that I occasionally use during summer so like sometimes whipping out a jumper and things like that I'm gonna put jumpers in here and tracky pants I've got another pair in that drawer all in this basket scarf because I'm actually going to Finland in January and first week of Feb and it's going to be freezing. Oops. Swimmers. These swimmers are really great for pregnancy. Except that last time I wore them when I was pregnant, I totally stretched them out. So now I can't wear them when I'm not pregnant. So, But pregnancy is great. So these are the You Swim ones. And they're just a one size fits all but they're super stretchy. So this basket I'm making into exercise slash swimwear. So we have exercise swimwear, jumpers in that one. And then this one has been shoes. So what I need to do is actually because I couldn't fit all my clothes in here and I actually broke 
the shelf like all my clothes anyway so Blair's fixed this so I can put all my clothes back in here now hopefully they will fit and if they don't I think we just need more culling because I feel like no one should need a wardrobe any bigger than that so in here in the spare room is where I've been keeping my clothes so I've culled this down that was the first segment um, and I'm gonna transfer this into my room. Okay, so as you can see, this just doesn't work. So the longer dresses I'm gonna to put to the edge, the longer skirts, and then the tops in the middle, and hopefully that is gonna work out. So let's try to do that. These are all dresses for after pregnancy and <laughs> postpartum. So I'm gonna put them in that pile. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Like I've got room to spare in here. I'm really loving the different clothes that I've got in here. I don't gravitate to, uh, I still feel like I need to cull, but if I cull anymore, I'm just going to be getting rid of my whole wardrobe and I don't want to do that. So I'm feeling pretty good with this, like everything's like sorted. So all my hanging stuff here, this is just like undies and bras, socks, pajamas. This is tops and singlets. And down here is like pants and shorts. So I've got these pajamas that I use during pregnancy and postpartum. So I want to keep them on hand somewhere. And these are like big daggy pants that worked postpartum as well. So I'm going to put them in there because like I might need them during pregnancy. And we have this set of drawers over here. And what I might do is steal one of these drawers just put these pajamas whoop, in okay and I want to show you where I'm storing all the stuff that I hope to fit into again uh, after baby so excuse the bed that's not made this is the stuff here so jeans shorts dresses some shirts and period undies because I do not need them right now but they are really good postpartum, so hopefully I'll remember that I put them in there. So I'm just going to zip this up, put this under the bed. I've got rid of so many clothes, which I'm so happy about. So, okay, and let me show you how much stuff I have to take to Adra. So we take our stuff to Adra. So I have this stuff here for Adra, this box, this bag, this bag. And I had like a massive bag you saw in the last section as well that's already gone. So just this stuff needs to go now. So that's good. I'm feeling really good about this. It feels so good just to declutter stuff. What's the word? Like to... There's like a word for it. Anyway, I would love to work on a bit of more of a capsule wardrobe. But just minimizing stuff for now is going to work. And I will figure out what I'm missing, what pieces I need. And from now on, I just want to get stuff that I really, really love. That fits me really, really well. Is good quality. And yeah, I just want to build my wardrobe in a way that's just, it makes it timeless. Stuff that's going to last forever. Because purge, that's the word. I'm sick of doing these purges. <laughs> I'm out of breath. If you liked this video, make sure to like it, to comment and subscribe so you can see future stuff from me. Hopefully this inspired you to do something about your wardrobe as well. So what, what a better time to do it than the holidays. That's what I reckon. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.